The automesher will merge cells together. So first we'll separate the cell zone by cell type as it contains both prism and tet elements. We use a text user interface command under mesh separate to do this. Let's look at the two cell zones we now have. We will now create a domain which consists of all the boundaries which enclose the tet part of this mesh. We can then clear the tets within this domain and refill that domain with hex core. We use the text user interface command quickly to create the domain from the tet zone. But this could also be done manually. The clear mesh button will clear the current active domain, so the tets will be removed. We're now left with the domain beyond the prism cap, which we can choose to fill with whatever method we like. Here we'll fill with hex core. We will now append a surface mesh which contain our refinement region boxes. We will use these boxes to refine the hex core volume which currently doesn't allow refinement via the size functions at version 15. When we define local regions for hex core refinement, the init button initializes the form fields based upon the current domain extent. We create domains containing just a box of interest to quickly populate these fields using this init functionality. We give the size levels within the boxes based upon the max cell size. Because it's an octree, it must half each time we go a level down from the max cell size. These should be similar to our surface meshing sizings for the regions and we can use the hotkey Control D once two nodes have been selected in order to find distances quickly in the graphical interface. We have three refinement regions which we can now visualise with red cubes showing the max size within. We need to activate these in order to cause refinement to occur during the hex core algorithm.
After we apply settings, again we save the mesh file so we can easily return to this point by rereading the mesh file. Meshing is sped up again here for convenience. Now we view the hex core mesh in the current domain. If we activate the global domain, we see the full mesh including the prism layers which we effectively froze during the tet removal and the hex core fill parts of this process. We can use the Manage Cell Zones panel to rename the fluid zones or to merge them etc. if required. The Auto Node Move tool under Mesh Tools is very powerful at smoothing and improving the volume mesh. This tool can even be used on volume meshes which come from third party products. We can find out the cell count and the quality limits via the options under report.